идет. My name is Kate. I work in Carfin Warehouse as a salesperson and here trying to rehabilitate the orangutans by working on their main centre. My name is Louise, I'm the manager of Carphone Warehouse in Red Hill. Um, here I'm just looking forward to seeing the orangutans being able to go back into the wild with all of the other orangutans. Track Force are building for us accommodation for researchers. What's going to happen is we're going to have researchers track rehabilitated orangutans to see how they are progressing. It's a new release site. It's actually very, very important, and I can see that Track Force have put a lot of effort into having this made. It's a big, big effort. Yeah. We're putting in a boardwalk to provide access to the uh, orangutan rehabilitation camp, just to make a lot easier for scientists to get to camp, particularly when they're carrying kit. Uh, as you can see, the slope was quite muddy beforehand, and with the steps, it's going to make life a lot easier for anyone who's working in the camp. My name is Marlene Locke, and I raised 2,501 pound um, over a period of six months. And um, part of that money has gone to pay for some of this wood and the other part of the money will go to the Carphone Warehouse Charity Partnership, which is made up of Bernardo's Children's Charity and Get Connected Helpline. I work for Get Connected, which is a telephone and email helpline for young people. And Get Connected is benefiting because the money that participants have raised to come on this trek, um, some of it goes to us. Yeah, I think you've posted the first lot now. Yeah. We've got lots of mould to contend with but um, the, the staff have been brilliant and everyone seems to know what they're doing and it's for an amazing project so yeah. we're doing a really good job out here and really feel like we're getting a lot done today. So first day on site and it's fantastic. Keep going. <laughs> oh you've come through. <laughs> Here we are in the heart of Malaysian Borneo, in the last pristine rainforest environment on the planet. Only Trek Force can get you places like this. And that's why people like Carphone Warehouse come to us, TV production companies turn to us, and most importantly, countless parents trust us to get their children here into one of the most challenging environments in the world and to get them home again safely. Although we are working in a, in a remote environment, we do have various forms of satellite communications, GPS receivers. We know where we are at all times. Our field base knows where we are at all times and they'll take appropriate action from there. These will work basically anywhere. We've already cut a helicopter landing site next to the camp. Helicopters are available from local agencies as well as the British Army and Brunei, all of whom we've got good relations with. So anytime, day or night, we can get you guys out of the jungle within a matter of hours. Trek Force, I think, have been absolutely brilliant. It's life-changing, I think. The guys really were very organised, got everyone, made sure everyone had the right kit, were properly briefed, um, had all the health and safety briefings, which meant that really we could leap straight into project work on our first day on site. The great bonus really has been that they've give us, given us enough instruction so that we're confident in what we're doing, but they've also given a lot of flexibility and creativity, so people actually really feel that they've achieved something themselves. And so, you know, it's their design that's gone into the steps, it's their design that's gone into the building, not just being told what to do, how to do it. Really 100% brilliant. I just want to say a massive, massive congratulations to you guys. I'm incredibly impressed, actually, and this is a testament to, uh, to your hard work. Congratulations.
Cool, so now after all that hard work and all the, all the sort of uh, trials and tribulations, we've got a six kilometre walk ahead of us. <laughs> and we've got a nice big reward at the end of it. Oh, this is so warm. <laughs> Far too much for me to eat. So never mind. We've been in mud all week. That fish is good. I'm happier at work for the, for the experience that I've done. I'm bumping into people now that I probably have walked past for the last two or three years, several times a day, not even looked twice, not known their name. Even that in itself, you just know that you share that sort of experience with people in a building makes it a better place to work. I've had the impression that Carphone's all about making money. I come from the trading team, that's where I work, and it's a very fast-paced, very financially driven department. And, and then when you start getting things like people email out to you, this is what the guys are doing in the trek, and we should wish them all luck, and that sort of thing, you realise that the, the whole sort of responsibility for that does go further up. I think they do it because they want to give something back. Uh, I mean, I know of a whole lot of other charity work that we do that, that goes, goes quietly, which is a great reflection of, of the car phone warehouse. It was kind of a cliche, I think, people come back and say, you know, they discovered so much about themselves, but I think it just gives you the opportunity to really get involved and be in a completely diff different environment to being stuck in London. And, um, but I guess, kind of personally, it just, just makes you realise that you can make a difference if you, know, you get involved in that kind of thing.